On Tuesday evening, the Oklahoma Education Association announced a deadline of April 23rd calling for a statewide closure of schools, except maybe they didn't really mean to. Today, the dates moved to April 2nd. Here to explain what's going on and the mechanisms behind it, the Oklahoma's Ben Feller. Ben, welcome back to the studio. Yeah, good to see you again. Um, what are you hearing today and who have you spoken with? Yeah, well, like as you mentioned, last night the OEA announced that uh, April 23rd would be its deadline. If the legislature didn't enact a substantial teacher pay raise and some increases in school funding, they were going to strike. They were going to close and, schools. And, and at that point, what was the significance of April 23rd? Well, they felt like after talking with some people at the OEA, they said that this was uh, giving the legislature enough time. So the OEA is going to present its own proposal at a Thursday press conference that is uh, likely to include a $10,000 teacher pay raise, including some revenue measures to fund it. Um, they felt like this would give the legislature enough time, uh, you know, for the process to work itself out, bills going through committee, going through the House floor, and so on. This morning, though, or actually this afternoon, the OEA announced that April 2nd would be the vote. In fact, uh, OEA President Alicia Priest uh, put out that announcement in a video on Facebook in which she said that, A, uh, she acknowledged the uh, backlash that they kind of received from some teachers over the uh, original date. So many of them felt like it was uh, too long of a wait until uh, until they were moving to a strike. And then B, she said, hey, April 2nd is now the day. On that day, the legislature has not approved a uh, pay raise for teachers and an increase in funding. Then uh, they're calling for schools to close across the state. As we talk, it's May 7th right now. What's the significance? March 7th. Of it? Uh, March 7th. Okay, yeah. So much for my education. It's March 7th as we have this conversation. What's the significance of April 2nd? Well, um, most schools will, well, almost all schools will be back from spring break by that time. I still think for the OEA, they're probably thinking, hey, this still gives us some time to try to work with the legislature. Um, something that um, the OEA president mentioned in her video address was that, that they're hearing about a plan in the legislature to address funding, and she called it inadequate, said that it wouldn't be enough. And so um, obviously they're still in communications with members of the legislature, which has been relatively quiet. I mean, we have haven't really heard a lot from leadership, uh, despite making some phone calls and inquiring about kind of what their opinion is of the strike. Uh, we've heard some candidates for governor uh, remark on this, uh, including a Republican candidate uh, Mick Cornett, who said that he would not be in support of the strike, support of the teachers' cause, but uh, not them closing schools. Um, and you know that's going to be the big question: that if and when we get to a point where schools close. Uh, what's the public response going to be? Because that's really going to be where the where the strike is effective or not. I mean, the teachers will have a voice, and it'll be a powerful one if they are rallying at the Capitol, which the OEA says they plan to do starting April second. Um, but the real push is going to come have to come from constituents and other constituents and voters that are putting pressure. Are they going to put pressure on lawmakers to get something done? Or are they going to turn that pressure on teachers? Because I do think that you're going to have some who um, are maybe not going to side with teachers on this. Now, if you look at numerous polls, majority of Oklahomans at a very high rate support the idea of a teacher pay raise. And the OEA put out a poll um, of not just its members, but also parents and members of the public, and they said that they overwhelmingly support a teacher strike as well. But it will remain to be seen kind of what that looks like if and when uh, schools actually close and kids are actually at home and parents are actually having to juggle uh, what to do. And we'll hear perhaps two more items tomorrow. As it turns out, the Board of Education has a meeting and the OEA has a press conference scheduled. Yeah, I don't expect the uh, Department of Ed to say much of anything uh, related to the strike, um, except probably that you know we support the idea for increased salaries for our teachers and increased funding. The Department of Ed in their proposed budget for next year included a teacher pay raise in, in their funding request. Um, and you know, they're gonna start, it, it just may not make too much sense, but the state superintendent is gonna try not to get into the politics, even though she is a politician, she's elected official. Um, and an election year too. Um, but I, I don't expect that we'll hear too much from them. We probably will have some board members that make a comment on that. But then at one o'clock the OEA is going to have a press conference in which they're going to unveil reveal their plan and their proposal. And like I said, really the only detail we have is that it's going to likely include a ten thousand dollar pay raise. However, the OEA has said that they want that to be funded within three years, meaning that the first year it may just be a five thousand dollar pay raise or six thousand dollars and then you add a couple thousand more. Um, in year two and year three to get to that $10,000 mark. It's a press conference you can watch live. We plan to stream that live on our website, newsok.com, set for 1 p.m. on Thursday. More coverage from Ben Felder and others from the Oklahoma can be found online at newsok.com. And of course, daily coverage in the Oklahoma. Ben, thanks for your time. You bet.